Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Dr. C channel. Thank you very much for tuning in. And what you are looking at right now is a curing and washing station. Uh, what? <laughs> yeah, this is a device used uh, for resin printing, 3D resin printing. Now, the device you see here isn't the actual printer itself. Even though it might look a little like it, right? It's got an, uh, a colorful upper structure with a metal uh, riser in it. It might as well be a 3D printer, but it's not. So again, this is a curing and washing station. And I think this is a very smart device as it combines two devices in one. It is from Eligu. This is the Mercury Plus. In this video I'm going to tell you about this curing and uh, washing station. There are others, so it's a, a general purpose video at that. So if you're new to 3D resin printing, this should be interesting to you to see well, what kind of devices you might need for 3D printing with resin. Here we go! <laughs> you serious? So guys, 3D printing out of resin. Now if you're completely new to that, 3D printing out of resin is done by UV light out of a, a fluid. So not a hard plastic, but a fluid. And again, this is not a 3D printer itself, but here you see an actual finished, finished, almost actually finished print. So this is what it will look like when you take it out of your printer, right? So it has a raft connecting several prints actually. Uh, this is a GoPro lens. This here is two pieces of a, a cap, a, back, a bucket basically. And over here you see a very small print. It is a lens for an RC car, for a small diecast, the RC car. So, and uh, I've printed these in one because why not? It doesn't matter in a resin, resin printer. The, the bigger print doesn't make it print longer. It just uses more resin. After you've taken your print out of the resin printer, there's some finishing work involved. And two steps basically. You need to wash your print as there's a leftover fluid that's not part of your print. So you don't want to have that stuck to your print, but it's still attached to your print and these uh, supports as well. So you need to wash it and then cure it as when you take it out of the printer, it's not at its final hardness yet. It's a little soft. So the first step is then cleaning, cleaning off the excess resin. And again, this is a two stage deal, a two in one device. First you take off actually this uh, rotating platform We'll see that again in a couple of minutes. And this comes with the printer, this jar. And I've got it filled to almost three liters with alcohol, isopropyl alcohol. So I go ahead and take off the lid and then set this jar onto the cleaner slash curing station. Then I go ahead and take my print, put it in this um, bucket, comes with the printer obviously, and set it into the, the jar, submerging my print into that alcohol. You need to set this cover back on as well. Why? Well, this is a UV light shield. So while you're still washing your print, uh, you don't want to have it cured, right? And UV light will cure it, so this is a UV shield. Also for your safety and against smell, as alcohol, pure alcohol doesn't smell all that well. Then we switch on the device, the Mercury Plus from Aligu. And uh, as this is a two-in-one device, you need to select what you want to do. Do you want to cure or do you want to wash? Well, you see a little lamp, lamp over here, so it's set to curing right now. I switch modes and now it's a whirlpool kind of pictogram over here. So that's the washing mode. Then you say, well, how long do you want to wash it for? And um, in general, I set it to approximately 12 minutes. 
Yeah, approximately 12 minutes. I've already washed and cured this uh, this one. 30 seconds. Now, uh, when I press on off now, that's a little uh, counterintuitive. You won't switch the device off this way, it'll start. And when I start, obviously this counter will count down. Also, you'll see a white thing in that bucket. It's a little hard to see because of the cover, but you'll see it start spinning. So it'll stir your alcohol or whatever washing liquid you've used. day. So it is now uh, for 30 seconds or whatever time you've set, stirring the alcohol. And it's definitely stirring it well. There's a whirlpool going on in that, in that liquid. So also, um, 30 seconds is a little short, but uh, if you, for instance, set it to five minutes, after two and a half minutes, it'll counter uh, its rotation. So it'll whirl the other way around. The excess resin should now be gone from your print. It should now be dissolved in your alcohol. So you take off the cover again. You take out that bucket, let it uh, drain a little bit, even though all that alcohol will uh, simply evaporate. But uh, yeah, okay, let it drain a little bit. And then we want to get uh, our washing slash curing station ready to start the curing process. So for that, we take off this bucket with alcohol and we seal that. This again, this uh, bucket came with the curing station and it seals very well. Which is definitely nice as, uh, well, uh, otherwise your, um, well, in my case, alcohol would evaporate. It would be smelly and after a while all your alcohol would be gone. <laughs> okay, so with that out of the way, you get this platform out again. And stick it on. It's uh, held on magnetically. Yeah, okay. and. On that platform, you set your print again. After that, reinstall your cover. And no surprise, we need to switch the mode, right? It's still at its whirlpool <laughs> washing mode. So switch the mode. There, there's a lamp again. And then you select how long you want to cure your print for. Now, I'm not completely sure what the ideal time is. It might depend a little on the print. How thick the print is, how long the UV light would uh, take to really penetrate your print. On a print like this, I'd say maybe 10, 15 minutes. At, that's at least long enough. After that, your print, or, or if you cure it longer, your print will uh, gradually start um, getting harder. And at a certain point, it'll start, uh, be brittle. Like, for instance, 40 minutes worth of curing would be very, that would be too long. By that time, your print might look a little bit whitish and uh, be definitely very brittle. Won't be strong anymore at all. So, well, okay, so again, you set a time, like for instance, 1 minute, minute 30. And uh, if I would be really be curing this print, I'd set it to like again 10 15 minutes and start. Now, now you see that column at the rear has been lit up, that's a UV light, and uh, we've got that platform rotating our print. So, I don't think this, this process uh, will invert its uh, rotation after a while, doesn't wouldn't really make sense, I think. So that's basically it. That's uh, the washing and the curing with this Illigu Mercury Plus. Again, a very smart device. It'll also shut down, shut off when you take the cover off, as you can tell, and it'll instantly resume after you've set it uh, back on. So yeah, uh, a two-in-one device, very neat. Also saves room on your desk, of course, not to have a separate uh, washing station and a separate curing station. Very, very nice. It is a little maybe small, but typically resin printers are reasonably small as well. So shouldn't be all that much of a problem. And I do think that Illigo has bigger 
curing stations, but I'm not completely sure. I will have a link to this Mercury Plus in the description down below. It won't be an affiliate link. I simply made this video as I found this, this device very useful if you want to get into resin printing. You could do the cleaning by hand, but I'm sure it wouldn't be as clean as, well, after this device has worked on it. So that's it. Hope that uh, this video helps you out. If you are left with questions, don't hesitate to ask. Catch you on the next video. Bye bye.